hello everyone hello all my beauties uh, welcome back to my channel and right now i am at amanda's house and what we're gonna be talking about is red flags red flags and guys so i feel like in prison red flags are the same as out here you know it's red flags are the same as it's no difference to me right right like i don't know some things i can't tell you what a red flag is in prison because me and my husband been together before he was in prison so um Which one you to i should have him tell you all that some things that he just done seen on the inside that's something that is going to be in another video but i'm gonna talk about like what Google say red flags are. We're going to have a conversation and while she do my makeup. You see? Clear face. This We're not makeup artists. Come on in. Come on in. We're not makeup artists, but we're going to have fun while we talk about these red flags. Are we you are going to try testers. Okay, what testers are so we trying? Which one? But anyone. Try? Anyone. So who the testers mm -hmm. by? Go ahead and take it away. So she's going to try this tester on me. Power Play Concealer by Cover FX. And we're not. Yeah, this is what we're going to try. So there you go. What else you going to do to me? Uh, we are going to use you got to the up. Christmas Cookie House Party. And we are going to use the palette. Christmas Cookie House Party. By Too Faced. By Too Faced. Too Faced. You know, there's some guys that it be Too Faced. That's a red flag. Very pretty palette. It's one of my favorites. And then they also. This is so pretty, y'all. Look at this. In the set. And it smells really good. Let like me smell it. Like, Let me smell it. Let me smell it. Gingerbreads. They, they make up do smell good. And I then, think the color fit the smell. Like, yeah, it's amazing. It's real, real pretty. Let me see the ginger boy. The ginger boy. <laughs> and then this one is got highlighter. And it smelled like chocolate, brush. you guys. It smelled like chocolate. Yes, We're giving them a shout out. Shout out to Too Faced. This is some pretty, pretty packaging. Yes. Ain't that pretty, you guys? Very sparkly and pretty. Look, this is my, my cup of tea. The set okay. also comes with some melted matte lip gloss and some eyeshadow primer, which I did not keep in the box. It is in here somewhere. Let me see if I find it. It came with this 24-hour anti-crease hold shadow insurance is what it's called. Sorry, quarantine. Can't really get my nails done, so... Just trying to focus on those too much. Okay. We're going to go with the first red flag that Google say while she getting prepared. Okay. It said they can't stop telling you how perfect you are. That's a red flag. Is that a red flag for real? I think so. It think said. So. Because they don't. I feel like they wouldn't want you to know how they really feel. They said they can't stop telling you, like, how perfect you are. Yeah, I think that I would agree. It said because it sounds if it's too good to irresistible be at first, but there's nothing more infuriating than being put on a pedestal by a partner. This person doesn't really see you as you. Your projection of some perfect idea they have in their head. And any time you shatter those expectations by being a normal, flawed, breathing human being, they're impossible to console. Oh, yeah. And someone being that obsessive with you is really creepy. That is kind of true. What do you think? I but that's like... so simple. Like, I think it's most men do that. But some people do it over. I'd be like, over, bro, over, over. bro, bag up, bro. I feel like a red flag is when you see like you can't breathe. Well, you getting smothered. 
Yes. Like, you can't go nowhere and can't do nothing. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I'm also going to use this spicy flora. It is called Best Blend Ever. And it comes with a cleansing bar and it comes with a sponge. When did a you first blend. start doing your makeup? It's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time. I remember my mom that we couldn't wear makeup. Even after I was 18, she still felt like, they felt like makeup is for when you are ugly or have a scar. That's what my grandmother said. I just argued with her. I said, no, makeup enhanced your beauty. Back in the day, they thought makeup covered your beauty. Yes, I agree. And my grandma was like, makeup is for oh. ugly people that's ugly, that's trying to be cute, and for people that got scars. I said, no. Well, all your grandkids wear makeup. I'm going to use this um, peach primer by Too Faced. Y'all, let's see how she do me. So, number two, what they say about red flags. Like she said, we ain't no makeup artists. We're not no makeup artists. <laughs> we just having fun. I want to see if she going to do me right. Y'all going to see. I want thumbs up if she do me right. Thumbs down if she don't. What no, you doing I'm first? No, I'm nervous. Uh-uh. Okay, okay so, listen to number two, though, before you get this. I forgot I'm supposed to wet this. Water right there. Oh, yeah. But it says soak it. You know what? Put it in there. I thought, no, put it in there. Yeah. So, th number two. Google said for a red flag, number two. They got 24, you guys. We ain't gonna go through all 24. But they said their sex drive is much higher or lower, lower than yours. How, that's a red flag. Oh, no, though. Because I don't know. People be having different feelings. Yeah. Like, sometimes, you know, just don't be in a mood. Or sometimes people be too in a mood. True. True. I feel like there ain't no limit on that. Like I don't know. It said it's just you there's no wrong about. amount of sex to have or not to have in life but it is important that you and your partner have similar libido or at the very last least a plan to handle any differences what if one of your partner's vision of an ideal sex life is getting it on nearly every night oh tmi while the other is content with having sex just a few times a month when one partner is consistently in initiating sex and the other isn't. Like the mood is, is very often you're in for a world of crushed egos, hurt feelings, emotional pressure, and resentment from both sides. I get it. That do plays a part, a lot of part. But it's not the only part. I don't no, think I, like I don't think that should part. be number two. I think that should be like twenty four. Yeah, I feel like it should be down on the list. Yeah, so what you doing now? I'm putting it on your primer. Okay. For a finish. Yeah, I don't think that should be number two. I really don't. Number three is they push your physical boundaries in no, an innocent way. 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 They push your physical boundaries in innocent ways. I think that they do. Yeah. It say, does your new bae refuses to stop tickling you when you tell them to knock it off? I had that happen to me. That is a boundary. Like, one of my exes, we would play fighting, and he would take it too serious where it hurt. Be like, oh, I find somebody else to play with. Then, yeah. have you ever had that happen? Yes. Where and that's him being aggressive, and I did not know. Like, or he'll be tickling you, and it'll be like too rough. That yeah, is a form. Mad about it. They, they be know. mad about it. Yeah, yeah. That is. I I can see that should be number two. Yeah, that should be number. Two. Yeah. So number three is that they rush a new relationship forward too quickly. My friend, like I had somebody say that they just met you. They just met a guy 
And go ahead. They like, oh, I love you. I love you. And she like, you just met me a day ago. So I can see that they will push the relationship for it. And you don't get a chance to know. I think courting is a is a nice thing to do. Can we court first, get to know each other, you know, instead of rushing into living together and being with each other? Just I think nowadays we take the romance, the friendship out of relationship too fast. Yeah. Get to too serious. fast. Everybody don't even wanna, know each other's favorite. No, people. don't even know like what the favorite they favorite colors are, or you know, I'm a kid at heart, so you could take me to the park, and I'll be okay. Yeah, I think that's a perfect date. You know, walking through a park and swinging and yes, stuff like that. Or like a video like but that. red flags are so simple. You think is, and people look at oh, if he hit me or he, you know, or do some dramatic, you know. Yeah. But they can put too much. They can do simpler stuff, and you be like, that is a red flag. And I think most women don't know because they don't be taught, huh? I think a lot of people just put up with it, or they just don't know. You know, they didn't get taught. Because I know I didn't get taught. They just pushed it away. My mom didn't teach me. Alright. Alright, agree. Okay, so now I'm going to apply her Cover FX powder clay. Wait, can you ask my mom if I come over there? How much is that? So, yeah. Never mind. Do a match. Yes. Yes, don't do that. Mm. I'm going to have to get some of this. So, yeah, I'm going to read another one. Let me see what they, let me see a juicy one. Hmm. Oh, oh, I've seen this happen a lot. It's say number five, they try to drive a wedge between you and your family and friends. Hmm. That, that says it all. In itself, I only had to explain that one. What you think? I think that they would because they feel like they need you all to themselves. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm gonna kind of contour with this, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna use two colors. Yeah, I'm gonna use this light one. If a if a person strip you from yo family and don't fit in and stuff and your friends that make it hard because they they make it to where you don't got yeah. no one to or vent to yeah yeah i went through that i wasn't I allowed to be like around my mom or nothing wouldn't even want to take my, my kids with my mom really 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 see i think everybody go through it like i think does stuff to you too because it does and, me and amanda it took a lot of work for us to have a healthy relationship with each other after stuff like that because you just fear that someone's going to do the same thing true but also you can't live in your past like that too that's just thanks for being on there yeah living in the past but when you push people away and they want like right, you can't way. live in the past. You got like. No, I made you, that mistake many times. Yeah, and then I found out another thing you gotta do in a relationship is really let go of past relationships. Definitely. Cause you will bring it into your you new relationship. Everything new to something old. Mhm. Mm like I did it with um my husband. I all the fears that I had. 
from my past relationship, I put on him. And that's not fair. And I didn't know I was doing it. You don't realize it. I did you it don't too. realize it. I did it too to the most beautiful person ever. I didn't give her the face she deserved off the rip. I feel like, hold on, what was I going to say? I forget what I was going to say. <laughs> it's stupid. Um, I forgot, really forgot what I was going to say. I was going to say something else. Y'all see that? Yes. <laughs> what did it look like? It looked good. Do it look Take good? Take a look. Oh. It looked good. Yeah. Okay. 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 It's all about the face, baby. I love makeup, y'all. I don't care what nobody say about it. Okay, number six. They roll their eyes at you a lot. I do that. I'm guilty. Guys, I've never guilty. seen a guy roll their eyes. Me neither. That is a sign. Y'all, these are things that we be missing. I think we should talk about things, though, too, that girls do. Cause it's go both ways. No, 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 no. It go both ways. Yeah. I it go both lie. ways. I didn't know that was a sign. Am I talking? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> it go both ways. I think for men and women. Red flags are red yeah, flags girl, for both. I like this cluster. Red flags are for both. Like, this ain't just bashing men. It's for no. both. Like, I think it goes one of... Because I've seen some women dog man like so and play them so men get hurt too i'm not saying that they don't men get hurt too and i hate it, it is yeah we're not shaming nobody not shaming nobody red flag is a red flag or in relationships yeah nowadays it's all kind of genders Oh, this is so good. I contoured it with, um, okay, so I used. Tell me what you contoured it okay, with. Okay, so I used the medium number three for under the eyes, the medium part of the forehead, um, the size of the nose, and then your chin area. And now I contoured it. And it looked the same. With the North Deep three. Like, I don't like. With this color, I contoured it with this one. And then I used this one. I and it's natural and she know i like natural i don't want to look like makeup is caked on me but i want it to be natural and just pop yes so another red flag that is they describe all their exes as crazy <laughs> I, that I have done that and i'm not crazy but i'm like he crazy he was or I'll be like, what did I do? Have you ever had an ex just say all the exes was crazy? Aren't all exes crazy? I'm still. <laughs> Is that why you left them? No, no. <laughs> right. I left them because they was crazy. <laughs> That's wild. It happened all the time. Though. But it says, what it says about that. Some relationships, some relationships end so badly that, uh, get that. Go. Will you get this cat, please? Sorry. We don't. It's, we yeah. don't mess with that cat. It's, it's like it's, real people. You would end friends. With grab it. Us. It's under the table. Where is it? Yeah. Under the table. The cat be playing. We got a playful cat. Oh, and she like to play a lot. So it said that some relationship ends so badly that we're still sour at an ex or two years down the line. But if your new partner spews virtual at any and all of their crazy former lovers every chance they get 
it's a good clue that they are the problem. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, they did it. They did it to me. It was all them, and I can't stand how they treated me. Ooh. But they don't see their flaw. The hurt ones is usually silent the most. And let me tell you, and the ones that get hurt is the one that go through it the hardest. Yes. The other one move on real fast because they didn't get hurt. Did we ask for Mike's feedback? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. All right. It's okay. It's good. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to use the Peach Perfect. As y'all know, I use the primer. I'm going to use the Peach Perfect Somebody Matte. Somebody's been through. Right up that ass. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use this Peach Primer Matte Setting. Mattifying. Bring them out. Bring them out. Okay. And this does smell good, too, because, as I said, Too Faced stuff always smell this one. It's and don't be like talking about she ain't changing brushes that we're not makeup artists. We just having fun. Yes. Plus, I need new brushes anyway. So, another red flag. Let me see what Google says. These are pretty good, though. They call you names and arguments. They do. Like, before I, like, really knew what relationships is, I thought that was love, though. Because I was raised with a lot of people fighting all the time. That's all I see in relationships. I feel like, yeah, sometimes it can be part of how you grow up, too. Yeah. Like, not everybody mean to be toxic. Sometimes uh -uh. they grew Some, up like that. Yeah. And they can learn and change. Yeah. I thought a man, when he loved me, he would yell at me because I was raised with my aunts and stuff fighting their man. So I thought, ooh, that, that tastes good. It got in my mouth. I know. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> thing it do taste good. So. It's like fine, but fine then, powder go everywhere. Yeah. Then I learned that. That's not love. And when I met my husband, he was like, I don't fight. I was like, you soft. But he was really teaching me that it's a difference. You don't have to fight when you're in love. You just work okay. together. Oh, look at that finish. Y'all see that? Oh, 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 I can't do it. You just roll your tongue. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> I never could roll my R's. So, this is how you can tell we're not makeup artists because I forgot you did the eyeshadow first. But I did not. So, we're going to move on to the eyeshadow primer. Eyeshadow primer. Can you do my eyebrows? You know, you can't well, see them right now. Okay, I can. Let's see what I can do with the eyebrows. Now, this might be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I really, I got this eyebrow kit, okay, but I've been kind of like playing with it a little bit, but I really don't know what I'm doing with it. So <laughs> do not we'll make see. my eyebrows look scary. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm trying to box them in. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with fanning them out a little bit. Oh, look at me. You sound like you know what you're doing. Do I sound like I know what I'm doing? Yes. Okay, what well, should I make you Okay. So, I don't oh know what God. I did with my, um, I had a. Don't be putting no pink on my eyelid. No, I'm eyebrow. not. I have a, uh eyebrow sharpener or a pencil sharpener. Will you grab me a pencil sharpener, please? Yeah. I had a thing on the bathroom counter that I could. So, it with, but I don't know. 
Sorry, What's going on here? <laughs> Just toss it to me. So it's number 11 says their attitude changes on a dime. Oh, I, that's hard. When an attitude <laughs> always changes. What this is? No, what I just said. Oh, okay, yeah, I got one for me. Repeat. Their attitude changes. On a daily? On a dime, every second. Yeah, I feel like that's a red flag. I feel like if they could be so quick to just change on you, I feel like. And uh, it's unhealthy. Yeah, it is. Like it'd be very unhealthy for somebody. Walking on eggshells. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Very bad for somebody mentally. Mm -hmm. Cause it's like mind games. It'd be too much. What is this? That's why I just put on your face. Okay. That's bare mineral. Bare minerals. Stroke of light and it's eye brightening. Ooh. So we just gone. I yeah, I just think do it with my finger. Anybody, if they attitude changes, I think they dealing with a lot of stuff. I'm gonna do my um. That's how I do it. I use my finger for that. Cause it did come with the um. It was kind of. It looked like a lip gloss. Like you know those makeups that look like lip gloss. And I had went like this too hard one day and just kind of like snapped the end piece right off. So it's in there. I snapped it off in there. Okay, so. Yeah, just like we in. said with red flags, just it's getting back on the subject. It's no gender. Red flags are in every relationship. Yes. So I'm gonna try I'm gonna attempt to do her brows and I'm going to do it with the Jasmine LaBelle cosmetics. And it's this cute little set. And it came with that brush at your shoes. Yeah, I'm gonna it for that. Hmm. Oh, it's up here. I came with this little brush. I'm waiting on pencil sharpening. Mm. I don't want to be our So let's this. read another one. Yes. They're on a different sleep schedule. It's one of the bathroom sink in there. It's a big okay. one that goes on the end of this the pencil. Electric ones right here. No, I have to just use electric ones. Then they say. They're on a different sleep schedule than you are. What if they just work at different shifts? But it's... I'm going to read this because this one is... I don't know. It said, it seems like they would be MBD. But if you're living on a daytime schedule and your bay is all about the nightlife. Oh, yeah. Okay. These the clubbers. Okay. These are clever men that ain't ready to get from being party life. So, and you work it. I get what they saying. If you working all the time and your husband want to stay out or your boyfriend and he don't want to give up that life and you trying to grow it, it is a red flag because y'all on two different paths. I've seen in a couple of... Uh, People that I know like that, it is a red flag. It's a, it's hard to change and your spouse don't want to change with you. Ain't that hard? Mm. All right, y'all. So, as you know, I'm not the best at this. I watched just a couple of videos. I don't know how to do this. Now I'm gonna use this and kind of just blend it in with the eyebrows. Alright y'all, and then now you, I'm gonna use You see how you can see my eyebrows now? 
Yeah, okay. And they now were gone, now they're here. They were gone, but now they're here. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead. I got some eyebrows. Fill in the ends now with this gel. Bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Bored, bored in the, the house, house and we in the house bored. Bored in the house and we in the house bored. Bored in the house and in the house bored. Yes, we are. Like it? Yeah, you need to give me some right there, though. Oh, yeah, I'm still feeling it in. Okay, yeah, she I'm doing a good though. Girl, I got a thick brow. <laughs> Look at the difference. Look at that one. Look at that one. Look at that one. Look at that one. She made me have some brows. Okay, I'm feeling better about myself now. I can do she did pretty makeup. good. I can do a little. Okay. She could do it. She learned a little something. A little razzle-dazzle. <laughs> All right, I'm going to need you to do it that way. Mm -hmm. Just like I can do this one. Nope, nope, that one gets a little bit. Okay. 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 We gonna say one more. Gotta keep this up. Oh shoot! What you think the next one is? What? What you think the next one is? Um, I don't know. It says they are secretive about the littlest thing. All right, come on. That's that's a nutshell one. Yeah. That's a nutshell. I hate secrets. I'm nosy. I'm nosy. <laughs> I'm nosy. Don't oh, I find out move, everything. Move. Sorry. Let me uh, give you an extra brow. I think everything that's happened in the dark always comes come to out. The light. Yes. And I know I'm an investigator. I investigate everything. All you gotta do is listen to what they say. Can nobody keep a secret? Because they tell on themselves. If you pay attention. You can really notice somebody. Like, all you got to do is listen and see their actions. You can tell if... It's a lot of secrets in your relationship. They mood change. Attitude change. This is relaxing. No one. I was about to fall asleep, y'all. Let me buy y'all chair for that. Okay. Video. Oh, yeah, that's right here. Hands down. <laughs> Ooh, a light. That's you tell me I can do a mean brow? Okay. You okay. Me. You. Because you working. Yeah. Well, we can tell secrets, though. Mm. I know. Oh, here's a good one. All right, so now I'm applying the eyeshadow primer. It says, I keep forgetting y'all in the video, you start getting comments, she's like, tell the dude in the back, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be heard. Less than one-on-one. -on -one. The next one say they cheated on their past relationship. I think people can change. 
Are you ready for this 24 hour hug? This 24 was, hour? That's what this eyeshadow primer say. Oh Lord. It's not coming off. It better be cute. And it's Too Faced. Too Faced in the building. So I know I did this backwards, y'all. Because I know you're supposed to do the eyeshadow first so it don't fall on your setting. But I do have some makeup remover and some wipes. So if that happened, I'll just reset the underneath of the eyes. Does that feel sticky? Uh -uh. I never used it before. So you guys, we gonna say our last red flag because we don't want to keep y'all, but she doing an amazing job. You see this? <laughs> and <laughs> our last red flag would be. Okay, so I'm going to use. It says, now listen to this. It says they will guilt trip you every chance they get. What y'all think about that one? Mm. Think about it and comment. But Google says some people know. have an uncanny talent for making their partner feel personally responsible and guilty for all their misfortunes. These are not people you want to date. I want y'all to think about that one. And comment, like, and subscribe and ring the bell as she finish my makeup. Um, these are the red flags that Google says that are red flags. And we agree and we disagree. And we agree that it's both genders. There's not one perfect person. So this for everybody. It don't matter the situation. It don't matter if they in prison or out of prison. Um, it's red flags coming. And friendships. Friendships. It's red flags in every relationship of your life. You just got to listen and don't ignore it. And... Growing up, I didn't know about these red flags. And they the most simplest things. That I'm like, what? That's a red flag, but it is. So, wising up, young ladies. And be strong out there. And, and like. Gents. And gentlemen. Like, subscribe. And ring the bell. And like this color. comment. And tell us what videos. Tell me what videos that you would like me to do. And have a blessed day, my beauties. Bye. Bye. Bye.